identity and relationship. We're, we're taking the category of identity and relationship to really be the, the first lens we look at in how we live the mission and how the mission of the Sisters of St. Joseph is infused in all that we do. So some of the objective areas, the goal area is to cultivate an inclusive, faith-filled community that nurtures global citizens committed to relationships with self, others, and earth. And that can be done in many ways. And I would like to mention that nobody in my house looks that happy doing dishes. So it says a lot for how engaged our kids are here. Um, so first, so increased collaboration with other SSA-sponsored works, locally, globally, and around the world. Um, we are, part of our uniqueness and part of our strength is that we can build on those relationships. Um, and we have such a rich, you know, font of relationships right here in Chestnut Hill and in the, in, the, in the broader Philadelphia region. We're doing a lot of intentional work to make sure we, we build and solidify those partnerships. So we've been in ongoing conversations and work with Chestnut Hill College, which I'll, I'll reference a few times, and how we can partner with them to be an educational partner. Um, I think a lot of that work happened um, organically over the formation and growth of both our institutions. And we are such a, an opportunity for, for each other to see how we can be the lab where their, their teachers learn and where they can learn from us. And we can leverage all the best practice of those practitioners at the higher ed level and be in a true, robust partnership. This is one example of how we can do that more intentionally. Infuse staff, students, faculty, parents, alumni, the whole community partners with the SHA mission and charism. To do that on a really thoughtful, intentional basis. Um, one of the ways we've done that is through the Spirits on Fire program. So we already have six staff members that have been trained over a two-year process in learning the mission and charism of the Sisters of St. Joseph. And how we can infuse that in all of our parent education programs, all that we do in our curriculum. Evaluate and revitalize the Community Service Corps and Service Learning Curriculum program to better serve the dear neighbor. That came through loud and clear in so much of our conversation over the last year, that there is a richness that we want to bring back to reinvigorate that program. That program is a hallmark. It is, it is such a, a critical part of who we are as a community, but it needs to be cultivated, and you know, things need to change with changing times and opportunities. So really, a very deliberate process is being put into place to make sure that that is the best you know, hallmark program for our school. Conduct ongoing assessment of character building to ensure values consistent with the Nord Fonfon community both within and beyond the classroom setting. And I think you'll find this objective and the, the spirit of this objective lives through many of the areas. That we want to hold all of ourselves, our students and all of our families to those same kind of priorities, whether it be on the stage, in the classroom, on the athletic field, however, how, how are we setting the bar higher to make sure that we're all challenging ourselves to really live that mission more fully? And include intentional branding of the SSJ identity in all programs materials. So that everyone, the first thing that you're gonna learn as an uninitiated person getting to know NFA is that we are a sponsored work of the Sisters of St. Joseph. And that is makes us different and unique and that's part of everything that we do. So some updates on where we are so far. Um, and I will, will allow some time for question and answer at the end, but I want to make sure I can get through the full overview first. So as I mentioned, we've had six staff so far participate in Spirits on Fire for ongoing formation in the mission and charism of the SSJs, intentional branding, as I mentioned, creation of a campus ministry committee. You'll see throughout the, the objectives and goals that we had some existing committees that have been um, realigned to make sure they're supporting the goals. And we identified the need for additional committees to better engage the community and support the um, adoption of the plan. So one of the first committees that we've rolled out has been the Campus Ministry Committee. Um, we already have some membership, but we would intend for this committee to continue to grow. Um, currently on the committee is Dan O'Sullivan, our Campus Minister, Ali Montero, Sister Jean Large, Sister Marjorie Lawless, Ryan Murphy, and Maureen Perletti. Ryan and Maureen are our parents. I don't think they're here right now. Um, so what you can expect in the next six months is the first you know, in, initial phase of redesign and revamping the, the service learning curriculum and this community service core. So that when we roll it out in the fall, you will see measurable change and we'll continue to see how we can measure that growth and success. And we will continue to deepen that integration with other partnerships, 
and incremental student agency in mission. So how we're challenging kids to take on more responsibility, especially in areas like service learning, so that as they grow older, they're helping to direct and to find ways that they, as a growing young adult, can really live the mission and carry that forward. Because the years go quickly, and we want them to be fully ready to live that and to be an advocate for us when they leave NFA.